Hey everyone, welcome to Miss Tori's Read and Learn. Recently, we read a book called Sleep, Big Bear, Sleep. Big Bear was having difficulties listening to directions. If you would like to watch the other book too, there is a link in the description below. Today, we will be reading another one in the series. This one is about sharing. It is called Share, Big Bear, Share. It is written by Maureen Wright and illustrated by Will Helenbrand. Join me as we learn about what silly things Big Bear thinks he hears this time. Big Bear smiled and rubbed his tummy. The berries he picked were very yummy. He lounged by a tree and laughed with glee. These berries, he said, are just for me. Bird and squirrels and two little mice thought the berries looked very nice. But Bear had sighed with a dreamy grin, hugged his pail, and dug right in. Branches shook on the old oak tree. A deep low voice said, listen to me, share Big Bear, share. Somehow, Bear misunderstood. He didn't pay attention like a good bear should. He thought Tree said in the deep green woods, hair, Big Bear, hair. My hair? said Bear. Are you sure? All right, I guess I'll comb my hair. He slicked his fur back nice and neat, then picked a berry and started to eat. His friend Little Rabbit and a curious deer smelled the berries and tiptoed near. Do you think this time Big Bear will share? Branches shook as the old oak tree, a deep low voice said, Listen to me, share, Big Bear, share. Somehow, Bear misunderstood. He didn't pay attention like a good bear should. He thought Tree said in the deep green woods, Layer, Big Bear, layer. Layer means home, said Bear. It's true, so I'll go home like he told me to. He lumbered nearby in his cozy den, peeked in the window at home, and then scampered back to the old oak tree and gobbled berries merrily. Merrily means happily, so Big Bear is enjoying all of his delicious berries. Branches shook on the old oak tree, a deep low voice said, Listen to me, share Big Bear, share. Somehow. Bear misunderstood. He didn't pay attention like a good bear should. He thought Tree said in the deep green woods, Chair, Big Bear, chair. So he found a stump and rolled it over, swerving around the bee-filled clover. He plopped his rump on the smooth tree stump and plopped in a berry so juicy and plump. Branches shook on the old oak tree. A deep low voice said, Listen to me. Share, Big Bear, share. Somehow, Bear misunderstood. He didn't pay attention like a good bear should. He thought Tree said in the deep green woods, Scare, Big Bear, scare. Big Bear knew just what to do. He jumped in the air and yelled out, Boo! Then Bear sat down and said, yum, yum, eating berries is lots of fun. Oh, silly Bear, he keeps doing the wrong thing. I hope he shares his berries soon. The old tree yelled, be nice and share. Don't you know that's only fair? You like it when friends share with you. It's the thoughtful thing to do. Share, Big Bear, share. Well, said Bear, you could have told me before. He turned to his friends on the forest floor. Forgive me, please, he nicely said. I'm all mixed up inside my head. How could I forget to share? Come, everyone, there are berries to spare. His friends said thank you. These are sweet. We're glad you've shared your summertime sweet. I like to share, Big Bear sighed. It makes me happy deep inside. 
They gobbled berries and giggled with glee beneath the shade of the old oak tree. At first, Big Bear was confused and did some silly things, but then, at the end of the book, he learned the importance of sharing. What will you share today? Remember, sharing is a thoughtful thing to do. I hope you all enjoyed hearing about the silly bear again. If you want to listen to the previous book, Sleep, Big Bear, Sleep, there is a link in the description below. If you enjoyed this story, please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more read-alouds and interactive lessons. See you all next time. Goodbye, friends.